In this video, I will show you how to create this landing page with the Bento grid layout. We have this header at the top and this section is made out of two parts. This part on the left has the text and some buttons and the one on the right has this Bento grid layout and the boxes have hover effects. Inside of them, there are images and videos and also, it is responsive like this. I will explain every line of code and show you how it's done. So, let's get into it. So here I have a folder with the images and the videos that I'm going to use. You can find all of these images in the description. As you can see, these images you saw earlier. The videos as well. Now I will create a index.html file, a style.css. Let's create the boilerplate and change this to landing page. I will link the style sheet. Let's open this up on the browser using live server. Also, we are going to be using a icon. So for that, I will use box icons. Go up to this website. You can find the link in the description, click on usage, scroll down and copy this usage as a font. Let's copy and paste it inside the head. And I will leave this on the side. Let's go into the CSS file. I will quickly reset the margin and padding for the entire page. Set the box sizing to border box and set a font family. Now we can go into the HTML file and start. First, let's create that header at the top. We're going to have a logo on the left. Let's give it the class of logo as well. And right next to it, we will have this unordered list with some links, home, products, And that is going to be it. And under this unordered list, we are going to have that one icon. So let's go into the box icons and search for a menu icon. Click on this. Click on font. Copy and paste it in here. Let's give it a ID as well. Menu icon. And that was the only icon that we are going to use, so we can close box icons. So before we move forward, let's quickly style this header as well. First, I will select the body and set the background color to this dark color and all the text to white. I will select the header and set the width to 100% so it will cover the entire width. I will set its position to fixed and padding is going to be 3 em to 12 percent so 3 em of padding at the top and the bottom and 12 on the sides and this is going to stay at the top so its position is going to be fixed at the top so i will say top zero and let's make it a flex container by saying display flex so we can use justify content space between to put all the available space between the elements inside this header, which are the logo, this unordered list and the icon. Align the items on the horizontal line as well. And background color is going to be black. Let's select the logo, increase the font size and the font weight and delete the text decoration. Color is going to be white. I will lower down the opacity to 0.8 for the hover effect. Transition as well. And when you hover over this logo, we will bring the opacity up to one. Let's select the list. I will delete the list style. Make it a flex container and put some gap between the list items inside. Increase the font size and font weight for each of them. 
and I will apply the same hover effect. Let's lower down the opacity. Transition is going to be the same. And when you hover over these items, the cursor is going to be pointer. And on hover, we will bring the opacity up to 1. And finally, we will select the menu icon, increase its size. And for now, we are going to set it to display none. And that is it with the header. Now we can come back into the HTML and create the section. So right under this header, I will create a section. Inside this section, we will have two elements. First one is going to be a div with the class name info box. And this is going to have all the text you saw earlier. And right under it, we will have another div, which is going to be the bento grid. So these are going to be side by side. The text will be on the left and the bento grid will be on the right. So inside the info box, let's have a h1 with the span and the class name gradient text. Let's say bento grid right under this a h3 with the same span element. Let's change this one to landing page. And under this, we will have a paragraph with some text. Under the paragraph, I will create another div with the class name button box. And this is going to have two buttons with the class name btn. And this is it with the information section. Before we move on to the bento grid part, Let's style this one as well. I will select the section, set the minimum height to 100 VH. So this section covers the entire page. I will set the padding to 10% to 12%. So 10% of padding at the top and the bottom and 12 on the side. I will make this one a flex container. Align everything in the center and put some gap between the elements. And in this case, we have two elements inside the section, the info box and the bento grid, which are side by side. So we put space between them. And now I want these two elements to have the same space inside the section. So the info box on the left will take the same space as the bento grid on the right. And because we made this section a flex container, I can select the info box and the bento grid and give each of them the value of flex 1 and in this way these two boxes are going to take the equal space available inside this section let's give them borders so we can see it so as you can see we have two boxes that are side by side and this doesn't look like a box, obviously, because it doesn't have any content inside. But these are basically taking the same space. So I will delete this border on the info box. And let's make it a flex container. And change the flex direction to column to bring every item inside stacked on top of each other. And put some gap between them. I will select the H1 increase the font size and decrease the line height and let's select the h3 increase its font size as well i will select the gradient text so i will copy and paste the gradient effect if you want to use the same just pause the video and type down the same this is basically a linear gradient function from left to right it starts with this color and to the right it goes to this green color but now this color basically acts like a background color for this span element to be able to put this color inside the text we gotta use background clip to clip the text to the background and make the text color transparent so we can see through it let's select the button box as well I will make this one a flex container as well and put some gap between the elements. I will select the button, 
padding is going to be 0 0.5 at the top and the bottom and 1 em on the sides and let's have some border radius increase the font size set the background color to white and for the hover effect we are going to have this transparent border text color is going to be black and transition for the hover effects cursor is going to be pointer when you hover over it indicating that this is something clickable and finally when you hover over this button background color is going to be the same color that we used for the background text is going to be white and border is going to be white as well and this part is done now we can move on to the bento grid so before we start to create the bento grid i have this final version in here so we can break it down and understand what we are going to do so we already have the box which is the bento grid div so we don't have to create a container inside this container we are basically going to have two columns so this one big column on the left and a smaller one on the right and the column on the right has two boxes that are stacked on top of each other this is the easy part but the one on the left has basically three rows that are stacked on top of each other and each row has two boxes so the first one has this big box on the left and a smaller one on the right and on the second row it is the opposite of the first one the one on the right is larger than the one on the left and the final row has two boxes that are the same size and now that we break it down things are much more easier we are going to have two columns the one on the left is going to be bigger the one on the right is going to have two boxes the left one is going to have three boxes that are on top of each other and each box is going to have two boxes inside and after we create the layout we will put the images and videos inside so inside the bento grid let's create that columns column left and column right so the column on the left is going to have three boxes that are on top of each other so let's create a box and copy and paste it two more times let me create some space and the second one is going to have two of those boxes so let's copy and paste it and inside column left each of these boxes are going to have two more boxes inside of them but we will add that later first let's create the layout so inside this bento grid i will set a height let's set it to 600 pixels and this is going to be a flex container and to put some gap between the elements i will use gap 1 em and this is going to put 1 em of space between the column left and column right let's select the column left and column right and just like we did with the information box and this bento grid we will give each of these boxes flex values so as you may remember the one on the left is slightly larger than the one on the right so this one is going to be flex 2 and this one is going to be flex 1 and in this way this is going to take a little more space inside this container and for the boxes inside this column left i will make this one a flex container as well and because the boxes are going to be on top of each other i will change the flex direction to column and put some space between them again and the one on the right has two boxes inside as well this is going to be display flex and flex direction column again the same gap that we use with the other now i will select the boxes that are inside of them and give every single box the flex value of one and let's give it a border so we can see the layout and let me delete this border and as you can see we already have the layout only thing left is the little boxes that are inside this column left so let's give these boxes border radius and because we are going to add more boxes inside 
I will make this a flex container as well. And let's put the same gap. And we are going to have some hover effects later. So let's create some transition. Now let's add the remaining boxes. Inside this box, I will create another div. Let's say inner box. And there is going to be two of this. And each of these boxes are going to have images inside, but we will add those images later. This one is going to be the same. And this one as well. Now let's style the inner box. So these boxes are going to have the flex value of 1. But we are going to change this in a second because inside every box, as you may remember, these boxes are taking different spaces. So some of them are going to be bigger and some of them are going to be smaller. Let's give it the same border radius. And because we are going to be adding images and videos inside, we're going to use overflow hidden. And for the hover effects, I will lower down the opacity and transition again. And let's also give it the same border so we can see them. And there you go. And basically the only thing left is to change the space these boxes are taking. So let's start with the first one. Inside column left, I will select the inner box. And using NTH of type, I will select the first one. So this means I selected this first inner box. And this one is going to be bigger than the other one. So I will set it to flex 2. Then I will select the second box. Now I selected this second box inside column left. This is the first one. And this is the second one. And inside the second box, I will select the second inner box. So inside the second box, I selected second inner box. And this one is going to be a lot larger than the other one. So I will set it to flex 3. And again, inside column left, I will select the third one, the third box. And these are going to be equally spaced. So it is going to be flex 1. And as you can see, we have the layout. Let's create some hover effects. When you hover over those inner boxes, they are going to be slightly larger. And I will bring the opacity up to 1. And the boxes inside the column right is going to be the same. Let's delete the borders. and add the images inside these boxes. So this first one is going to have the first image and the second image. Let's give this one the fifth one. And the column on the right is going to have the videos inside. So let's create a video tag and put the first video inside. The second one as well. So to be able to make these videos play on a loop, we gotta use some attributes. We need to use autoplay, muted, and loop. Let's copy and paste this for the other one as well. Let's go back into CSS. I will select the videos and Set the object fit to cover and the width to 100% and this will make this video fit inside its container. I will select the images, the same object fit cover, width and height is going to be 100% and as you can see every video and image is fit into its container but we have a small issue with the boxes on the column right. We need to delete the overflow. And there you go. Finally, let's create a breakpoint. 
and make this responsive, I will select the section and change the flex direction to column, which is row by default. So when you hit this width inside the viewport, section is going to have a flex direction of column, which is going to bring the Bento grid at the bottom and the text to the top. I will have this margin 10 EM to 2 EM. So 2 EM of margin at the top and the bottom and 2 EM on the sides. And also I will lower down the padding to 10% to 5% and let's delete the unordered list and set the menu icon to display block. And that is it. Let's see if everything is working fine. So hover effects are working, everything is in the right place. We have the grid with the images and the videos and the responsiveness is working fine as well. So this is how we can create a landing page with the Bento grid layout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and I will see you next time.